frig sakes people one weekend down one more to go let's go home highly illegal cory trevor with the highly illegal musics yeah let's go home i'm fucking done work for today gotta be back tomorrow by four so now i got 16 hours off or i gotta be back or some shit like that i don't know i don't know but anyway um we we're talking about jobs and all that and I was chatting with the owner of the uh, Sagret store, the uh, El Darte store here in North Bay, the one that I always go to down on Lakeshore, and uh, I told him, I said, yeah, bro, like, pretty much after August, any shift I work at on Terra is gravy. Reason being is, after August, they're shutting that fucker down, like, August 1st is the sign-over date, so now we just wait and see when they sign over and when they start giving us the hatchet. But, um, holy shit. We got incoming people. Fuck, I'm doing like 80 down here trying to get around this fucking Mazda that's just beaming the stupid uh, racer lights there. Those fucking blue HIDs or whatever. I almost kicked her into GT mode just so I can get around the fucking guy. All the Paul Walkers are out tonight. You see that? Look at Buddy Van Dudo in the other lane. Coming up on my uh, on my wing. Passing me in two. One. Passing. It's fucking uh, fucking Lancer. Not even an Evo. Just a, a Lancer with a lot of bling. Fucking, uh, what do you call that? Factory rice. That's what my buddy calls it, factory rice, when they got these, like, mega hopped up cars. Well, you know, big ass spoiler on a front wheel drive car, because that serves a purpose, and that's what they call it. Factory rice. And he's just pounding the fucking... That's one thing I gotta say about those, though. If you get the sun and sound system, I think it's called, um, you get a pretty decent stereo in those Mitsubishis. Like it doesn't, like it sounds like it, like there's a subwoofer or something in the trunk. Something's producing the bass. But I guess you need a good sound system to overpower the rattling and clattering from that fucking engine. Holy shit. Sounded like a sewing machine with a loose knuckle, you know? Like the valves are just flapping around like a flounder or some fucking nonsense. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is those engines. They are noisy, clattery little buckets. Two liter fucking buckets. But I bet you that car with a fucking five speed, that car probably does have a five speed. Um, but driving those Mitsubishi Lancers with a five speed would probably be a fucking riot. It'd probably be really awesome. Sorry if the glasses are bouncing around, my eyeball has an itch. And I need to get my finger behind my eyeball so I could fucking just give her. Just finger bang my eye socket. So what am I going to do tonight? I have not the foggiest idea. It is currently Sunday, obviously. A couple of vlogs back, I fucked up on my uh, starting text. It was like I forgot to change. It was just the default text in Sony Vegas. <coughs> because basically what I do is I build presets for all of my different things. Like the fin at the end and the time the day and the um in north bay ontario thing all that they're all presets so i have to sit there and make uh new presets every uh every freaking time or not make new presets but just drag them down so they automatically populate and then i just change the context to have the proper time and all that well there's one a couple days ago i forgot to do that and i want to see who out there catches it and goes, hey, the fucking date's wrong. By the time you guys see this, now you're going to go back in the vlogs and try and find one with a fucked up in, uh, beginning. Which is kind of dick because it's going to throw off the view ratio. Because, <laughs> like, if you just sit there and keep watching videos, but you only watch the first 30 seconds, it really, really, really hurts the... Uh, the time like views versus the quantity watched and um i know that happens a lot with a lot of videos out there you know i'm pretty bad for it too i'll come across a video uh, like i'll be researching something like how to change brakes on my car 
or uh, how to fucking, oh, the best, perfect example, this actually happened. How to put oil in a jack. I researched that and I came, I ended up coming across like eight videos that I watched, but the only one that I watched all the way through was the seventh video. The other ones, it was like 30 seconds in and I cut out because the guy starts talking about the torque spe specs of the jack. Like he labeled the video how to put oil or how to refill an oil jack. But the video was 18 minutes long and for the first like fucking three minutes he was going on explaining like what could happen if you have faulty oil or a bad seal or what could happen or the, the, the specs of the jack and, and I was like holy fuck bud just pour oil into it show me where to fill it from and fuck like I, I can't deal. <laughs> so sure enough he, uh, he got clicked off that one and the rest of them were like some were like shot with like an old blackberry friggin curve. 8200 you know like like old fucking cameras shaky the camera dick and audio's all sounds like it's coming out of a tin can like you know he, the effort was there but the technology wasn't therefore it made the video very hard for me to watch but if it was the only option I had I would have fucking you know hammered down and pound through it but uh, nope a ZB not to the case oh well I have a freaking crazy sunset. I feel like I'm on Tantooine right now. But, uh, yeah, so, um, fuck shit, pisscock balls, eh? So basically, uh, Mike from Me Cigarettes Canada offered me the North Bay store. So when I take my buyout, I can go, I might take a couple weeks off just so I can have some more me time and get shit straightened out and just fucking chill, you know, just, just have some chill. I've been working straight since I was like 13. I'm 35 right now. Since I was 13, I've been working nonstop. That's 22 years of working nonstop making money. And I got my first job working at Best Western being a dishwasher just so I could buy a fucking computer. Because, oh, let me tell you, back in the day, back, back in those days, my desktop, 486 DX2, 66 megahertz, and that motherfucker sent me back like 2,600 bucks. Nowadays, you can go to fucking Walmart and pick up a laptop with better specs for three uh, for like two ninety seven. How dicked is that? Anyway, people, I'm gonna go ahead and go home, and we're gonna see what's going on. I wanna see if the cat's back. I st I have no idea where the fuck my cat is, and I need to rehang my D-Link camera because since I moved the television, I pulled the camera down, and uh, I kind of never hooked it back up. And somebody asked me if I had power at the house. And normally I check by seeing if I can log into the camera. And if I can, then hydro ahoy. If not, then no hydro. But I forgot the camera wasn't hooked up and I want to fix that tonight. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go home and uh, get shit rolling, 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 skedow. There she is. I had no idea where the fuck she was today. Just dickered. All right, well, I'm going to go let the dog out. And, uh... Throw out some garbage. Let's go. So I got Oreo outside with me right now. Just uh, having a vape. Um, I set this up today. Ego pen with a iClear 30S. Running my new vanilla custard flavor. It's just so good. Success, he actually pooped outside again. Now he gets bacon. I said now he gets bacon. Bacon. Oreo. Oreo come. Oreo, hey! That fucking dog. This is why I don't like letting him off leash. Hey, Oreo! Get over here! Damn, he must have been really backed up because he's really dropping one now. Oh, here you guys go. It's currently uh, 1.30 in the morning. Um, I haven't eaten anything yet. And um, all I had today for food was two chicken salad sandwiches. So I should probably cook something. I don't know what the mosquitoes are going to be like out there. I was thinking about going out to the garage and cooking up that last steak. Or saying fuck it, jumping in the car and going for a ride to Sobeys. And uh, just getting some munchies or just go to the corner store and get some munchies or something. I don't know. I don't know. I probably should eat something, but I probably shouldn't. I don't know what to do. But uh, we just finished playing some Grand Theft Auto Online. Me, Rex, and another guy named Cotvet. C-O-T-V-T-T-E, I guess it is. And, 
Yeah, we were hanging out now playing fucking video games and trying to exploit some stuff and we exploited one glitch and couldn't exploit it and exploit any others and I don't know, it was, it was pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I don't know, I heard my dog barking, so I want to come down here and just take a look and make sure everything's in order and everything is and I need to hook up my D-Link camera, which is right here. Right here. So I need to get that going too. So what I need is some screws. And I probably had the screws for this when I got it. And I fucking lost them. Unless they're over here somewhere. Nope. Highly doubtful. Okay, what we're going to do is take the camera off. We're going to go out to the garage and we're going to find a way to get some fucking screws that will fit that. So I just extracted the stand from the actual uh, camera. We'll go to the garage. I'm going to let the dog out right now, actually. And then when he comes back inside, we'll go to the garage and we'll find the right fucking thing for that. And then we'll, we'll be good to go. So let's scrap the holy freaking moths. I don't know what the fuck that big son of a bitch is, but fly be free. I did that and a moth like right away took his position. Oh fuck, that was glass. Oh shit, I let one in. Fuck! Well, it's actually not too bad in the garage right now. So that's pretty fucking right on. Um, let's see what kind of screws we can find that'll work with this stuff. We can just get this son of a bitch mounted to the wall and turn back on. Cause that'd be cool. Perfect! Alright, let's go back in the house. Think I might come out here and cook something on the barbecue. Because uh, it feels pretty nice out here. Feels really, really nice out here. Indeed. And just like quit. It's up there. And working. And on the network. I don't know how the aiming on it is and what the video feed looks like, but we'll go upstairs. And I'll grab my cell phone, bring back the drill, because we shouldn't need it anymore tonight. And then uh, I'm still contemplating on going to the store and picking up some refreshments. I'm thinking uh, a Polar Pop or one of those Slurpees. You know what I mean? The frasters, the slushies, fuck what else do they call them, you know? But, uh, grab my phone, crank the D-Link software open, and, uh, see what's really going on. I don't know what's going on with the software. It's like exploring your cameras, and when you click on the camera, nothing happens. What the fuck? The software just updated itself, and it's right dicked. And there we go, people. Like it gets me on the couch, but holy fuck, that light saturation is a little high, and I don't think I can I can change any settings on here. What does that do? That literally just makes a full screen. Okay, so now what? Just press that button, it brings it back. Yep. So I don't think I can go in here. That just tells me all the information on it and the bit rate and all that. So I'm gonna have to. Um, Go into the settings on my computer because uh, it's right there, and uh, I don't have this one. Could probably do it. Let me go into the settings. You know, when I turn off that lamp, this one right here, it uh, really leveled out. So we're gonna leave it like that. I'm wondering if I should tilt it more down. Let me try that for a second. We'll just set the phone down here. Let's see if we can. Tilt this thing more down somehow. Oh, uh, where is the fucking thing? It's along the top, son of a bitch. Okay, um, okay, this is a two-hander job, guys. Bring it back. All right, so if I aim the camera like that, basically there's the video feed there. So that is not too bad. Not too bad at all. And if I walk all the way back over to this area in dog shit corner, you can still sort of see me, but you can't see my face. But we can see Scruffy Fluffy Puppy Wuppy and Super. Really? Stop. And Super Scampers. So, right on. This will be awesome. Now as for dinner, I think I'm just going to make some mac and cheese and call her a night. 
So hopefully you enjoyed today's video, which wasn't much. It was just reinstalling the D-Link and finding scampers. Bonus. But uh, yeah, I'm going to call it quits. Head to bed. Or we have a shower and then head to bed. That sounds like a plan because it's uh, pretty gross down here. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.